This is George Ashline from the, the Mathematics and Statistics Department here at St. Michael's. I'm with, with one of our majors today. Hi, um, I'm a senior at St. Mike's. My name is Summer Chaponis, and I'm studying mathematics and economics. So Summer, I think to begin today, maybe it'll be good to hear a little bit more about your background. So if you wanted to share a little bit about where you're from and what your interests are, that would be great. Yeah, so I'm from Woodstock, Connecticut, um, and I like to go skiing, running, reading, um, yeah. So you mentioned you were a double major in, in math and econ, so if you wanted to maybe share a little bit about what brought you to that um, direction and, and, and what sorts of uh, aspects of those disciplines you find appealing, um, it would be great to hear about that and, and then also why you, you ended up at St. Michael's and your interest in studying here. So um, I think why I ended up at St. Michael's was I was really looking for somewhere with a smaller, um, like involved community. And I definitely wanted smaller class sizes because that was something that I was used to in high school and comfortable in. And I wanted to be in an environment where my professors was, were gonna be able to notice me um, and I was gonna be able to be involved. Um, and so I actually took calculus for the first time freshman year with Professor O'Donovan, and I realized that I really liked it, and it came sort of easily to me. Um, and then I was actually able to speak with her about some possible fields in STEM. Um, and I first tried more of an engineering track, but realized that wasn't for me, and I just really liked math, so I decided to add a math major. And I knew that um, I wanted a second major, sort of, to be able to apply my math a little bit. And I really liked economics in high school, so I decided to take the intro courses, and then I started to really like it, and I think it's a really great application of math. And then you picked up some statistics along the way as well, and you yes. thought that that was a nice fit too. Yeah, definitely. I was able to take a lot of stats classes that counted towards my math major, and then um, I realized that I really liked stats as well. And I think there's a good opportunity here, I, I think, to major in one field, potentially a uh, double major or find a minor or multiple minors. I, th I think a number of students do that. Yeah, definitely. And that's pretty reasonable in terms of your schedule and what you're able to accomplish. Yeah, I, I do agree with that. It hasn't been overwhelming. It's definitely been doable. Great. And I think it would be good maybe for, uh, for, for folks to hear ab about other activities you're involved in at the college. Uh, I know you're, you, you really have a number of interests here, so if you wanted to share a little bit about that and then maybe uh, where, you're, where you see yourself heading uh, after graduation coming up uh, this May, where, 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 you, where you'd like to be going. Yeah, sure. So I have been involved in the Math Honor Society at St. Michael's for a few years now, and I was actually able to have the position as president to be a little bit more involved, which I've really enjoyed. Um, and we're looking into possibly planning an event with some of the math students to just get together, um, maybe after break. Um, and then I'm also involved in the Stats Honor Society and the Econ Honor Society. Um, and those have been great opportunities so far. Um, so looking for after graduation, I've applied to a few different master's programs and PhD programs. And I've been accepted to a few and I'm waiting to hear back from a few, but I think I'm really considering a master's program at UConn in financial mathematics. That seems really interesting and it's a really good um, overlap between math and economics, I think, as well. So I'm looking forward to that. And that can really kind of piggyback on what you've been studying a lot of and, and, and I think currently you're working on uh, seminars, mm -hmm. those kind of senior seminars in both of those fields and that will be a nice way to kind of transition into you know, some further study. Yes, yeah, I agree. Did you wanna, wanna t just chat a little bit about um, like other activities? I know, I believe that you've been uh, a, a very active tutor on campus as well, yes. so maybe you, you yeah. had some time for that too. That's true, yeah. I have tutored for a few different classes. I'm currently an attached tutor for Elements of Calc, which means that 
basically I can help every student in the class um, and sort of get some one-on-one -on -one time with students who need a little bit more help. I've also tutored for linear algebra and um, mathematics in context and I, it's something I really enjoy. I'm currently taking a tutoring practicum course to help me improve my skills um, and I've really liked that as well. I think that's a great opportunity. Very good and, and that probably also will help you maybe in graduate school if you have some duties there, you know, some of that yeah. experience I suspect could, mm. could be advantageous. Yeah, definitely. Great. Um, so it's, it's, it's very good hearing a little bit about, about your, your journey and kind of where this might lead. So really exciting uh, prospects for you. So um, maybe we can uh, flip the, the table a little bit here. And if you wanted to, uh, I think you maybe had some, some questions you wanted yeah. to share as well for me. So. Yeah. So first, what attracted you to your field and specifically teaching? Yeah, it's 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 uh, that's a good question. It's it's something that uh, I've been doing for a considerable time. It's hard to believe I've been at St. Michael's almost three decades at this point. So the time has gone by fast. Um, but I, I've I've always kind of enjoyed the um, I've always enjoyed mathematics. I really in, uh, really like studying patterns. I like problem solving, uh, working through challenges, and, and it's, it can be I find that. Uh, very rewarding and interesting. And I always like um, not only working through mathematics, but being able to assist others with that process as well. And so f from a very young age, I, I, I enjoyed the opportunities. I, I was also a tutor uh, when I was in high school. And, um, and I thought about how nice it would be to, to, to be a teacher at some point, and I really enjoyed studying the math, so I decided to, to go on and I got a PhD. Um, with an eye toward toward ending up at an institution like St. Michael's, where I could um, have the opportunity to really work on the mathematics, but also um, work closely with students and, and help them to kind of find their own um, insights into the field. So nice, yeah. Um, so next, I guess, um, what do you enjoy most about teaching at St. Michael's? Yeah, there's, there's a lot of uh, really appealing aspects to the work here. Um, it's, it's been fantastic, you know, through the years, through the decades to, to really um, to be able to teach a wide variety of courses. Um, and, and I've, I've kind of added to that repertoire over time. Uh, and I really, I really like the fact, as you had mentioned, one of the things that attracted you here was the kind of the close-knit community. And I mm -hmm. think that that's been really powerful um, to be able to contribute to that and to be able to work closely with students in class and outside of class really have the opportunity to um, at, at St. Michael's the, the, the classes are small enough so we really are able to uh, get to know uh, each other uh, well and I think that that's that's really uh, really valuable mm -hmm. um, and, and so I, I've en enjoyed kind of being able to, to make my contributions to that and, and to learn from the community learn from my students as well and, and so uh, it's really been kind of a, a valuable experience that I and I, I continue uh, to kind of grow in that I, I think year by year so I, I'm, I'm still learning uh, it's, a, it's a process and uh, I, I'm really pleased to have the the chance to do that uh, at, a, at, a, at a close in, in a close knit uh, community and at a place like St. Michael's. So it's, it's been a uh, it's been a blessing. Yeah, yeah, I do agree. Well, the small class sizes is one of the things I definitely love. Yeah, yeah it's it, it certainly it's it's an opportunity to I, th I think you can really you get to know your peers, you get to know. Um, you get to know your professor and, and others in the community as well, and, and there's different ways that everybody can make contributions, and I think that that's, that's really helpful. Um, and I think it's helpful on the student side, but also I think from the, the, the professor perspective as well, um, you know, I, I think that uh, everybody can make really important contributions and, and uh, can really grow through, through the process. So. Yeah. So lastly, I know you were on sabbatical the past few semesters. 
Do, would you want to speak a little bit about the projects that you've been working on? Yeah, I'd, I'd be happy to do that. So, so uh, yeah, I, I've been I've been fortunate that um, this year I, I'm, I've, I've been on sabbatical, and so I, I do miss the classroom and I miss those interactions. But I still have the opportunity, such as this, to, to still connect mm -hmm. with with uh, students, and so I'm happy for that. But it's given me a chance to to work on a number of projects. My original research, um, and my original uh, doctoral degree was in an area called several complex variables. But since then, I've really been focusing more on mathematics education and mathematics pedagogy, um, the, uh, some of the research into the teaching of mathematics and, and how to do that well. And, and so I've, I've continuing to learn in those fields, and so I'm trying to do that over the course of my sabbatical, learning more about what kind of opportunities are out there. And uh, in particular, just a few projects that I've been more specifically working on. I, I'm, I've been making some contributions to AP Calculus and uh, to, to uh, um, so, some of the questions uh, I've been creating for that. And I've, I'm also one of the consultants for AP Calculus where we, we grade some of the exams. So I've, I've been, t been continuing to be involved with that. Uh, I've been working on. Um, there's, there's one article uh, that I've, I've collaborated with a, a peer at another college, and, and we've uh, co-written an article that's going to be published soon where we're featuring some of the, um, the stories of our alumni. And so I'm, I'm also the departmental alumni coordinator, so I, I like to stay in touch with our alums and connect them with students such as yourself, and I'll be encouraging you to participate in that when you become uh, an alumna s soon, Summer. Um, so we, we, uh, we're going to be publishing an article. We're sharing some of the stories of our uh, alumni, how they worked through the pandemic, and, and kind of where their career paths are leading them, and some of the advice they have for, for students of today. And so that's one of the, the projects. I've also spent quite a bit of time recently working with uh, a colleague, Brett Findlay, in the, in the chemistry department. And we've been, uh, you know, been doing some research with students as well. Uh, we've had some, some uh, research students that have been focusing on ways to integrate uh, our curricula and think about applications from one discipline that apply to the other. And, and so, for instance, we have some projects that we've been integrating into calculus. Uh, that involves some interesting ke chemistry applications. And we're also looking at uh, some ways of, of bringing mathematics into some, uh, some uh, chemistry courses like gem general chemistry, physical chemistry, and so on. And so we've been working on some articles for that. And we just gave uh, recently a, a, a little colloquium talk about some of our efforts and some of the research we've been doing. And, and that's been uh, really fulfilling because we've also uh, been working with some of our students uh, that are interested in both math and chemistry. And, and uh, it's, it's been great to have their input as well as we've been creating some, some activities and, and getting those implemented and then writing up some reflections about the process. So uh, that, that's kind of ongoing. I'll see that kind of continuing for the future. And as I kind of mentioned, it, the nice thing about this work is y one can continue to build on it going forward. So there, there's always something that uh, can be um, learned and understood better, and and, and so uh, that's really one of the, the really attractions of being in, at an academic institution is that it kind of keeps you young and, and excited uh, about what you're doing. So yeah. that's great. Yeah, yeah. I've, I've enjoyed that. And so who knows? Maybe maybe someday you might have the the chance yourself to. Um, you know, maybe you might be teaching your own class someday if you end up going in that direction. Have you thought about maybe what you might like to do if you ended up getting a, a master's degree um, in math or in economics or finance? Do you know what, what that uh, might lead you? I have. I've thought about it a little bit. I think um, I've always been interested in actuarial type stuff, um, but also lately I've been considering maybe becoming a financial advisor. Um, I also really enjoy tutoring, so I've been considering possibly going for a PhD down the line and maybe at some point teaching as well, but I'm pretty undecided at the moment. And I think you know you have you'll have the opportunity to see how things evolve, how things develop over time, and and you know the, the teaching piece comes in in a variety of those careers, mm -hmm. anyways. You know, if you're an advisor, that's that's a big part of what you're doing. So I think a lot of what you've been able to accomplish 
here at the college, I think is going to really serve you well going yeah. forward. So. I, I think so too. Yeah. Yeah. So um, good to keep options open, see how things evolve over time and, and uh, see where the opportunities lead you. Mm -hmm. But I, th I think you're putting yourself in a really strong position given your, your interests and what you've studied. And I know you've worked very hard, yeah. uh, but you know, I think, I think uh, you know, the fact that you're president of our, our Pi Mu Epsilon mm -hmm. Honor Society and it speaks well to, to what you've been able to accomplish. So congratulations on that. Thank you. And thank you so much for participating yeah. in, in in our little chat today. I think it was nice and hopefully it'll be uh, of, of uh, use for our prospective mm -hmm. students that are considering uh, coming to the college and, and if they have questions I think uh, we'd be more than willing to have them uh, be in touch. You know I, I suspect uh, if anybody w had a question they could follow up with you and yeah. I'm more than willing to also uh, address any, anything that uh, someone might have in terms of a question about the college or about studying mathematics or, or related fields. Yeah. So thank you so much, Summer, and it's been a, a pleasure chatting with you today. Thank you.